Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as The Thrifty Broad, and I have a haul video for you today. This is from the 26th of October. Um, I had gone down to the bins. I had planned on going this week, but um, Yolanda, who doesn't live that too far from me, I will put her information down below. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she does have Instagram. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so she was coming down to Everett. And so I was like, well, I gotta go see her. I haven't seen her in literal years, um, not at least not in person. And so I was excited to see her and visit for a little while. And, you know, I had to pick up some stuff because <laughs> I can't go to the bins and not buy anything. I got a lot of coats. So anyway, first item is this Mark, Andrew Mark. It's not mark by uh mark new york it's just the regular andrew mark line um i do believe this is women's and it's i don't know i have to think i have to look it up it's like that scuba like knit but it's not like real like it's not real stiff it's real flexible but it's like that uh what is it called <sighs> neoprene so anyway, the, the collar, this hood zips out. So I thought this was a pretty good pickup. I have my extra large Hulkin right here, which I'm gonna put these coats in. Okay, so this is Eddie Bauer. I think this needs to be washed. This is an Eddie Bauer women's medium. It's just a regular zip up, you know, um, what do you call it? Windbreaker, wow, words are hard today. Um, and yeah, that's just basically it. it has some pockets. So I had to pick it up. This is Trove. This is sold at Nordstrom's, I do believe. This is 100% leather. This is just like basically a um, small pull on leather jacket. It's really light, it's not lined, it's not structured. Um, and I is it lamb leather? It doesn't say, um, but it feels like lamb leather. So if you've ever felt lamb leather, you know what I mean? It, it feels way softer than normal leather. Okay, so I got, this is JM Collection by Jennifer Moore. So I have some shoulder pads, but beyond that, it's pretty unstructured. It has some lining, but it's really, you know, kind of floppy. Um, but it's 100% linen. I think it was. Does it say? Hello. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, 100% linen. I mean, obviously not the not the inside. This is probably polyester, but the outside is, is linen. And I like to pick up linen no matter the brand, really. Okay. Ooh, don't fall over. This is Field and Stream. This is just basically a shacket. Um, yeah. Had all its buttons, which is important. But yeah, I like to pick up these, especially right now, they're really in. And this is a size extra large. This is men's. But I mean, you can market it to women as well. I mean, quite a few of my men's items get purchased by women. They might be purchasing it for somebody, but they could be purchasing it for themselves. This is a vintage brand. This is Mondi. I have a, um, this is made in Hungary. So I'm not sure if this particular, I think it is probably. The other Monde piece I have is uh, made in West Germany. So I know that was vintage. This probably is as well. <clears throat> but I really just really loved, I really just really I loved this blazer. It is a three button blazer, which I think is not technically in, but you know, it's vintage. And so I decided to get it. Oh, technically it's four button. Yeah, okay. And there's really nothing on the back. But it's a women's. I think it's probably small. Does it say? No. It doesn't. I'll have to like figure that out. That's okay. Um, this is, oh, this is sanctuary, I think. Okay, there you go. This is Sanctuary. Now, I thought this was a catalog brand. Um, 
designed in Los Angeles, crafted and tailored. It's a size medium, but it's like one of those, like, I don't know. Is it one of those cocoon style ones? Anyway, they're hard to, oh, oh no, it's, oh, it looks like it used to have a belt. It no longer has that, um, but you could put something else in there. So it does have, oh no, 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 it's a pocket. No, no, it's not a pocket. It's a button and it has, okay, so it buttons. That's fine. It's not missing a belt, but it's just hard to show. It really is just hard to show because it's one of those like circular type cardigans. Okay, anyway, like I was saying before, I thought Sanctuary was a catalog brand, but somebody else in another video said it's Nordstrom. Which one is it? Or is it both? Oop. Okay. Helly Hansen. Now, I know I don't pick up everything Helly Hansen, but, you know, I try to pick up some of the stuff. Medium. Um, this used to sell for a bunch more. A bunch more. <laughs> for a lot more than it does now. I think this is a women's piece. But, you know, we're in the right season for it. These are vented. These are good, um, good jackets. I mean, I'm sure I can get between $30 and $50 for it, which is fine. Oh, and stuff's falling. Okay. Oh, yeah. So my friend Kristen picked this up, and she's like, this looks like something you'd pick up. And then I looked at it. I'm like, you're right. I would. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, which side is the front? It's this one. Um, it has a no markings on anywhere, but look how cool that looks. And it's just... I don't know. It just has a interesting vibe to it. Oh, is it. oh, it's reversible. Oh, interesting. So then you can reverse it, wear it this way instead, and have that on the back. Okay. Let me see if it has any pockets. Because if it has pockets, oh yeah, it does on this side. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here's the brand Treadle design room that has to be large that has to be made in the usa yeah that's probably vintage the tag alone makes me think it's vintage i'm thinking 80s you tell me in the comments do you think this is 80s i think it's 80s okay this needs a bit of a wash but this is top man um uk medium us medium and it's just a just a regular jacket it's a snap jacket yes Oop. is it snap did i buy a broken snap oh oh no is the snap really broken no i was just i don't know doing it wrong but there we go. And there's the back. It smells like smoke. I mean, it's definitely needs wash. Uh, I don't tend to bring bring home some smell of smoke. It smells lightly of smoke, but I will get that out. Um, this is REI medium. This is just a puffer jacket. Very packable. Very uh, lightweight. This someone had thrown back, and I think they had thrown it back probably because there's some spotting up there, but I don't care about that. I'll just disclose there's some spotting on the shoulders, but this is like a fire engine red leather uh, moto jacket, and let me show you the brand because I didn't do that. Christian Lauren, New York, Paris, made in the USA, obviously from the 80s. Um, I wonder if it has, okay, so leather craft, shipping directions on the other side. Okay. Never mind. Yep. Oh, I was so excited. Someone threw this back. Co Cocal? Cocal made in the USA. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's velvet. It really kind of, in a way, 
in some weird way, it kind of screams Johnny was a little bit. Do you get that same vibe? Too bad it's not longer. If it was like a long duster cardigan, that would be amazing. But I, it's, be it's beautiful. And this is a size medium. This is an oversized medium because I think it would pretty much fit me. We'll see. Um, this is Boston Traders. This is a large jacket. It is fleece lined. It buttons up. Has a couple of different pockets. Has the breast pockets. This one also does have the pockets to the side. So I will be calling that out. And I, I think that will sell pretty fast. Okay. I got some blazers. This is Mapelli di Milano. Sorry if I'm butchering that. I do not speak Italian. Uh, I have to sound out Italian. <laughs> but what size is this? I'm sure it has a size in there. It's 100% wool, made in Indonesia. Oh, does it not have a size? Well, that's fine. If it doesn't have a size, just measure the front and um, double it. And then it ends up being like from pit to pit. That ends up being what size it is. In my experience, that's how I've noticed. Oh, yeah. Pushing that down a little bit. It's getting a little... This I gotta unzip a little bit. This is Boulder Gear. Uh, it's technical apparel for all mountain mountain pursuits. This would be something you would put gorp core on. I've been reading a little bit about gorp core because I don't really quite understand it. But after reading last night, I do understand it a lot more now. So it's like utility wear, like ski jackets and. Uh, you know, stuff you would wear like hiking and stuff that would have like utility to it, but also in nice, fashionable, bright colors. I mean, there's more to it than that, but that's what I'm getting out of it so far. So I'm just learning. If you know more about Corp Core, let me know below. Um, this is Coastal. I've never heard of this brand, but this is basically a shacket. Does this have pockets down here? It does not. But it's a shacket and I will, you know, mark it as a shacket nonetheless. Um, it is fleece lined, which is a major plus for shackets. Has all its buttons. Another shacket. This one is Freedom Foundry. And uh, Yolanda pulled this out, but she's like, I don't do men's. I'm like, well, I do. I will. I will happily take this home. And this does not have any pockets on the side. It just has pockets up here in the breast pockets. It is men's, but you know, it has that fleece line, which is desirable. So, and, I, and usually I can get about, depends between 25 and $40 for shackets. It depends on a lot of oh, some factors. Okay, this was dry cleaned. Um, this is Town Craft. I don't remember why I was drawn to this. I think I just liked liked it. It's a hundred percent Shetland wool. So Shetland wool is from Scotland, I do believe, like all the Shetland wool. I might be wrong about that. Um, what size are you? Okay, this one does have a size. It's forty six R, which is regular. Yeah. So and it's a hundred percent wool. So it's a nice structured jacket, blazer jacket, has lining, has padding, you know, has padding in the, in the, at least in the shoulders. No real padding out, 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 outside of that though. But I like that it's a nice uh, herringbone, has some hair on it. That came free, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Almost done with some coats here. This is Michael Gust, made in Italy. And it's kind of just one of these. It's almost like a polka dot in a way, but it's not. I, what would you call this? I mean, I guess I'll be calling it tweed. 
but I think this is also made in Italy. I think it's also um, wool. Oh yeah, and then this is on the other side of it, Paul Saliri. Rupio for all. I don't know what that really means. And it is a size. Come on. One day. It is 100% wool. And it is. Oh. It's wool on the outside, but the inside's rayon. 48R. Okay, cool. So it's a pretty good size. And yeah, it's a nice blazer. I think should do well. Okay, so this is American Rag. I don't pick up a lot, but you know, I liked I like to pick up these utility type field military anorak type coats. Um okay, this is universal thread it's an extra large but i really it's a jean jacket that has a stain but that's okay i can get that out it has this cool like faux sherpa arms and on the uh collar i wish it was lined with that too i think that would be you know the back is pretty plain I'll get that stain out and call it good. And the last but not least in this area is not a coat. It's a banana. So this is made by the company Tipsy Elves. And some of their stuff can go for quite a bit. This does have pockets. Um, and it's basically you're a giant banana. And on the back, it's like Chiquita Banana, uh, their logo. But it says Tipsy instead. There's a pocket in the back here. It's just a regular pocket. I don't think it has a trap door. It does not. But it has, it zips all the way down. So if a guy's wearing this, or even, I mean, if, you, if you're a girl wearing this, you're going to take it off. <laughs> but if you're a guy, I mean, just zip it down and, you know, do your thing. Oh, but it does zip. This is it vented? Okay. It's like on the side, on the inside of the leg. <laughs> All right. Interesting. It just has this weird zip where you can kind of, I don't know why you would need zippers right there. That's, that's odd. Okay. So we'll get the first bag up here. First item is this. Oh, I didn't, well, it's a Tipsy Elves. That's their logo. So, um, this is a Bronner hat. I've never, is it something else Bronner? Yeah, I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know how to say that. I can't, it's 100% wool. Made in the USA. This makes me think it's vintage, but has this little bow on the side. I'm not really a hat person. Oh, maybe. Maybe, is this me? What do you think? Anyway, it's gonna be hot. Put that over here so it doesn't get squished. Um, this is a Dickies small, if I see overalls, even short alls, I just pick them up. These will be good in a few months. You know, someone might get them for a vacation. Who knows? Oh yeah. You don't want to pull this out and give it, she's like, I don't know if you want this 12 months. I don't do a lot of kids, but I couldn't help but get true religion little toddler jeans selection is slim very cute <clears throat> this is a Ann Taylor small blue v-neck v-neck back kind of have these bell sleeves it's a sweater dress made out of I think acrylic acrylic wool and spandex so it is nice and stretchy it should be very comfy keep you warm <clears throat> this is anthropology i don't know oh a, Ke a, a kemi and kim really oh there we go 
There we go. Kemi and Kin. I always say Kim. Uh, so this sold for $68 originally. Looks like it was on sale. So let's remove that little sale price. Because I do remove the sale price. So it doesn't exist. So here we go. Sold for $70 originally. And it's just cute little basically tank top uh, with embroidery. Might take a minute for it to sell, but that's fine. But, you know, it's new tag, so I want to get it up anyway quickly because it might be bought for Christmas or something. <clears throat> um, This is official product of Budweiser, I think it is what it is supposed to be. But I just couldn't pass this up. Some guy's going to want this. So I got it. It's in board shorts. Oh, I've sold like something very similar to this by White House Black Market before. And it sold pretty fast for a pretty good amount. Size 8. So this is a, basically a little corset top. <clears throat> which is in right now. So I think that will do well. I think it's silk. Let's look at it. Yep. The shell is silk. Strap is polyester. Oh, there's supposed to be a strap with this? Um, oh no, it has the, it has the rubber on the inside. It's meant to be strapless. I think it means this is polyester because that's, it goes over your neck. This needs, I need to repair this, but I'm fairly certain I can. This has a big hole in the side, but I'm going to repair that. Um, but there are some J crew need some depilling too, but they're like wool blend pants, like lounge Pajama pants. Yeah, 100% merino wool. So I will fix that. And I will sell it. Okay. This is, I believe, mod cloth. But let me find the inside. Yes, it is. Mod cloth, 1X. Very pretty. Faux wrap dress. It's kind of a dark floral. I would consider this a dark floral. So I think this would be good for right now. Oops. I'm trying to get this in there. Okay. This is old navy, but I picked up for style alone and it's a wool rayon blend. I really do like the herringbone pattern, but look at these. They're wide leg and they're, you know, career wear, which is needed right now. People do have to go to work, they have to go into the office, and they need to look good. So, this is Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama. It's a dress. Very cute. Don't mind if I do. Would that be dark floral? Mm, I don't know. Uh, oh, I found a Lululemon tank top. Let's go for about $25 for me. The size six has half of its pull tag on it. Um, so I at least know what size it is. Style will be harder to find. Has a Lululemon logo on the back there. And I don't think it has any more information on it. There's no pockets. So there's no size dot. So I think about $25 for that. Okay, what are you? I think this is a... Boho -y shirt. This is Maggie Barnes for Catherine's 0x, which is 1416. This is what they did. They uh define it as this is a semi-sheer. So you want to wear something under this boho type top. It's really cute. I do not think this is gonna take long for that to sell. These are BDG. Is Urban Outfitters. This is the Vintage Bow 3232. I think these are men's, but but why not? They might be women's. So I'll have to I'll have to look them up. They're they're pretty short inseam for being men's, but there are shorter men. I mean, I'm really short though. I'm five one, so <clears throat> I'm if I was a man, I'd be very very short. Um. This is, <laughs> come on, really? It's Victoria's Secret. 
There you go. It's this little like gold bra. It's like a 34B. So tiny. So I picked that up. It's in great condition. Um, one state, which is Nordstrom. I think this is faux leather too. Listen. Uh, we call it laser cut faux leather skirt. I think we'll do well. But let me see if it's faux leather because it might be real. Sold at Nordstrom. There's a there's a chance it could be real. Um, but it's not. It's not. It's not real. But vegan leather. This is Victoria Sport. My Victoria's Secret. And this is just a sports bra. And it is size. Um, do they size these small, medium, and large? No, 34D, double D, sorry. 34 double D. <clears throat> oh, this is a child's. A child's Gymboree. Large, 1012. But I just, is this a zip, like, cardigan? I just really thought it was cute. I think it's made out of good quality material or at least cotton. Let's see. Yeah, it's made out of cotton. Oof, something flew in my face. So I thought that was a good pickup. What are you? This is a Serendipity Maui. It's an extra large, I think it's rayon. And it's just this, uh, basically a Hawaiian shirt. Very interesting. So I thought I get it because I like getting those. Oh, this is just a beanie or a hat. I do believe it's wool. It's like a wool or cashmere blend. It may have been someone's project. Has no markings on it anywhere. Okay. This is L Lindbergh. Never heard of this brand before. It's an extra large slim fit, but it is 100% linen. Yes. So that's why I picked it up. Just a regular linen shirt. Nothing fancy to it. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't not get this. This is Maurice's, but it's like really boho. So boho-y. It's a large. Look how cute. It's a little peplum hem and these bell, not bell, but uh, pup, not pup, would these be puff sleeve? I don't know. But it's just really cute. A little keyhole back. So, and it's nice autumn colors. So I was like, you know, this will be fine. This is Forever 21 Men's. I've had good luck. This is extra large. This is foxes all over it. I have great luck with Forever 21 Men's. Has a little bit of wash wear, but I'm pretty sure I can actually fix that. Okay, what are you? This is Madewell. Madewell doesn't do as good as it used to for me. This is a size medium. What is a front tie? Um, oh, it's like a wrap. It's like a faux wrap blouse. That's white, cream. It's really like a cream color. Oh, but it's not faux. It do, oh, it is. It is faux because it is that, but it does have a modesty snap. So there's that. Um, oh, this is figs. I've only found figs a few times, but this is figs, technical. This is, I think, a 2X. Oh, it's a large. Sorry. It's a large. But they have the drawstring still, which I think is important. The only times, and they have like this gathered, like a jogger pant. And when these are scrubs, just so if you didn't catch that, um, but they're pretty, pretty desirable scrubs. This is cut from the cloth. This is the Diana skinny size A. I do like picking up the Diana skinny. It usually does pretty well for me. So, ooh, things is getting a little full. <laughs> Here is a belt. It's small. It's made of genuine leather. This is leather. Um, 
but it goes like this. It's very stretchy. So it's one of those stretchy belts. It's not branded by anything. I have no RN number on it. No idea. But it's cute. So, you know, boho. This is Levi's. This is old. Skinny, 5'11". I don't know how old these are. Here's the other tag. Come on. All right. <laughs> I don't know if this has the date information on it though. Okay, it's not gonna focus. But it is cotton spandex. I keep seeing something out of the corner of my eye. Things on my eyelash. Um yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research. I have no idea when this was made. It looked oh, I actually think it was made in 2008. So this is like probably a reproduction. But skinny used to not be skinny skinny. And these are a size, what size are you? 36, 32. And the last one for this bag, it's an Ox Rose piece. I couldn't, I could not get it even though it was a size medium. This is very like cute and boho-y. This does, this brand does have a following, although the bigger pieces do better than the smaller pieces. So, I mean, the back is plain. So beware when you get the smaller pieces. I mean, 100% they won't sell at the at the bigger rate, bigger pieces either. But I, the few pieces I found recently are really like summery type pieces. So it may take a few months for it to sell. This is by Anthropology. Oops, sorry. Extra, extra small petite. The smallest size possible for a woman. Um, yeah. So I think this will do fine anyway. It needs a little brushing, but it's, I think it's acrylic. It's like this brushed acrylic. What are you? Acrylic polyester. So yeah. All right. I guess I should start putting it in this bag right here. My feet. Okay. This is Old Navy. I picked it up because it's a trucker jacket. It's extra large. This looks like an old, old Navy jacket i think this might do well it's a light wa lighter wash so it is a light wash which is in right now and yeah it's distressed it's old i think it'll do fine and i expect between 20 to 20 20 to 30 dollars for that who knows this is eileen fisher medium in a nice like burnt orange very pretty open cardigan. It's not, it's too bad it's not cashmere or wool, but it is silk and organic cotton. It does feel nice. So yeah. And it's like, it has no issues with it. Very happy about that. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. Vince Camuto, size four. Very pretty, like, uh, the arms are sheer, like semi-sheer, but the, the dress itself isn't. And it's like this black and purple, it's like purple and black. Like when the, you shine the light, you can see that this, the darker is purple actually, not black. But you, you gotta catch the light right for it. But I was excited about that. This is Averix Authentic Extra Large. I need to stop hitting the table, sorry. And it has this graphic, which I just kind of liked, so I got it. Thought it looked cool. Graphic tees do well. Oh, I'm still putting it on this big old pile. Okay. This is Everflex High Rise. I've never heard of this brand. But, you know, I, why not? It's a straight leg pant, or jeans, rather. They look to, to be in great condition. They have spandex. They're 16 regular. So, yeah. And they're from 2021, which they have an RN number. I can look them up. Huh. They look like, well, they're Maurice's. The, uh, the button says Maurice's. 
which you're never going to be able to see that. So I don't know why I'm trying to sh show you. Okay. This is really just cashmere by forte i think this might be an older cashmere piece i don't think it has any holes in it i looked it over it needs some deep pilling but it's in great condition <clears throat> this is raboom small these are some running pants uh, running shorts they do have the uh the inner shorts, the, like the bike shorts on the inside, they are connected. You can't, you know, take them apart, but it's so, you know, you can run and not have to worry about showing your bits to anyone, which is always a plus. This is T collection. It's a posh children's wear. Look at this, it's so cute. Such a sucker for the cute stuff. But I think this might help me, you know, Attract more buyers. Um, this is Bella Materna 38C. And I just thought it was a good bra. That's in great condition. Makes me think it's a maternity bra. Um... This is another Knox Rose piece. This is large. This is white. Um, yeah. Yeah, it needs a wash. What is it made out of? I think it's made out of cotton. It feels like cotton. Let's see. Yes, 100% cotton. Ooh, I have a, a nail. That's snaggly. This is Tahari 14W, which is women's. I guess I don't need to do that, but you know, I think it's a kind of a skinny, or at least a slim taper jean. Those do okay. I mean, they don't do the best. Um, this is for over 21. I could not not get it. It is a size 28, but look how cool this is. These are overalls and they zip down. I can do it with one hand. Here we go. Okay. This is LL Bean. This is a good brand for me to pick up. I like picking up it's like bread and butter. 2X. I do believe this is men's. Um, the men's Henley. Uh, here's a Tahari baby. Super cute. This is a 2T little tiny dress. How cute. How cute is this dress? It has these little pretty buttons on the back. And what are you made out of? <sighs> made out of polyester rayon, metallic fibers, and spandex. So not wool, but it's really cute. And I, I do love me more houndstooth. Not houndstooth, herringbone. Oh my God. I'm getting it mixed up myself now. Um, these are ski pants. They are medium fly low and uh okay what's going on here okay oh so these are like stretchy they can give you more okay yeah they they can give you more like they're adjustable well that's nice you can't remember you can't use Velcro on eBay, you can only use hook and loop, but these are great. So I'm excited about those. I think these are pretty expensive. Let me know in the in the comments below if you've come across that brand and if it did well for you. Um, this is Chico size three. 
I do love picking up Chico's. It has a following. I thought this was cute. I think it's hook and eyes all the way down. Or does it? No, it does not. Just has one hook and eye at the top. And, you know, that's the back. But it does have pockets. This is another kid's item. Good lad. But, I mean, this is clearly a dress. But it's so cute. Look at the embroidery. Had to get it. That's a dark floral, for sure. Um, this is Theory. This is Old Tag Theory, I believe. Size 8. And it's this denim skirt. It has this, like, pleat in the front. Like an A-line skirt. Almost done. Two items left. A, kind of a short haul. I've never heard of this before. So this is Quinn. It's an extra small. It is, I do believe it's 100% cashmere. It's a purple sweater. Let me look. Yes, 100% cashmere. So have you found Quinn before? Is it a good brand? Let me know. No holes. And if it does have holes, especially if it's solid, I tend to still pick it up if I know if I think I can fix it. I have lots of colors of thread. And last but not least, this is really cute bunny. Someone had done some um cross stitch and then they put it on a pillow. I don't know if this is vintage or not. I don't know if this is vintage. I'm hoping it is. I think it is. I don't know. Would you think this is vintage? There's no real way for me to know. I don't see any remnants of a tag of any kind. I think this might be homemade. Anyway, that's it. That's the end of my haul. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will you will subscribe. Stick around for a while. I do hauls, what sold videos, collaboration videos, helpful tip videos, which I haven't done in a hot minute. So I've done just kind of uh, what sold and uh, haul videos, but I need to get more into the tip videos. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day, night, weekend.